Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another joyful June love reading for you. I hope this video finds you guys vibing highly here, Scorpios. I'm trying to dodge the glare. Uh, I didn't make it up <laughs> early enough to go outside just yet, so bear with me with the glare because it may snap in every once in a while. But how are you doing today, Scorpios? I hope this video finds you guys vibing highly, Scorpios. Let me see. Now, this is an auspicious time for you. Remember that, Scorpio. Remember, this is a very, very fertile time for you. I know everyone is not dealing in the same energy. Uh, some, some Scorpios have experienced recent breakups. Some of you Scorpios may be needing and seeking clarity because it seems like that's the theme in relationships when it gets too hot and heavy. Uh, like Mary J. Blige said, when you get in the thick of it, then sometimes people can't handle it. And instead of facing it, they cowardly walk away with no uh, clarity, no real understanding. Just like when things start going bad, everybody's like every man for himself. But I feel that things are turning around in your favor, Scorpio, especially if you are healing and your perception has changed and you have forgiveness in your heart because everybody can and do change, including Scorpios. So Scorpios, keep that in mind as, as we move on in this joyous June energy that you're going to have a lot of pursuers. Some are new, some may be old people, but I feel like if you take your time with it, you will see things will reveal themselves. You will know who is real and who is not, because I feel like the universe is going to heighten your intuition where you're not going to be fooled. You're not going to be second guessing yourself. You're going to know. And that's what it's about. So you can live confidently. You can love confidently here, Scorpio. So let's see what's going on in your energy. Now, we're going to pull from the True Love Oracle cards this morning. Uh, shout out to all of my beautiful, amazing Scorpios here. I appreciate your support. Thank you for my members. I appreciate you guys so much. Shout out to Dirt Biker. Shout out to, um, man, there's so many of y'all. Uh, uh, Lakeisha, uh, Phoenix Rising here, uh, Verna, Carlos. I mean, so many of y'all. Antonio here. Compatibility here. See there, you, you got somebody here who I feel like is going to be compatible with you. Uh, now, you may have, um, everything may not be the same, but if you can find some compatibility with somebody, that means that there is a possibility that something can really happen beautiful in that relationship or in that connection here, Scorpio. So compatibility is your overall energy. And I'm going to pull another card here. Let's see. I've been, <laughs> I've been thinking about this song, Holy Spirit, activate. You better get them before it's late. You better get them, Lord, <laughs> before I get them, Lord. <laughs> That's what I've been on, y'all. YouTube is a trip. <laughs> it is so much entertainment out here. There's no reason why you should ever be in low vibe and energy because there's always something out here that can switch that energy just like that. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpios in love for this joyous June energy? Spirit, show me Scorpios. One more card for Scorpios. Like I just been listening to so much music and it's just like, it's just like, so I feel like now things that you are maybe running into, things that may be happening in your life, um, there, there's no coincidence. Let, let's say if you just so happen to hear a song, I feel like that is the universe's way of trying to get your attention. So make sure you listen to the words because words are powerful. And, you know, we be so confined with the chaos of everyday life trying to maintain, because uh, we all have to maintain something in our life, you know, some type of control. But and then sometimes you get so caught up in the hustle and bustle of life that that still soft voice that talks to you, you may second guess it or uh, you may not even hear it. So I feel like the universe is using the simpler things, things that we use every day as a way to get your attention and let you know that things are 
uh, working out in your favor here, Scorpios. I remember a lot of times when I was stressing out, when I was heavy in, in Christianity, because that's what I knew. And, and so many times I just needed clarity. I just needed to know. I just needed, you know, how, how, how in Christianity we just trusting in God and we wait, waiting on uh, late in the midnight hour. God's going to work it on out. You know how we waiting on God to work it out. Weeping weep may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning too. But hope deferred makes the heart sad. So it's like you can you can pray and and and, and meditate and, and and do all those things, but you eventually you're gonna have to see the results of it, aren't you? Or you, you your your carnal nature, human nature, you're gonna start doubting things here. So. Like I said, you know, so many times what I just wanted clarity, all I need the universe to just let me know that it's going to be OK. You know, and, and my prayer would be, look, spirit, <laughs> I don't need to know the details. All I need to know is that I'm going to be victorious in this. Just let me know. And so many times the universe will show me a dream. Yeah, it will show me a dream. Y'all, and I'm telling you. And in that dream, it would always be OK. And then in the real world, in the physical world, it would come too. So, you know, a lot of times we just need hope. We just need encouragement to let us know that even though it may not seem like we're going to win, even though it may not seem like you're going to prevail, that's not always the case. And, and even if you don't prevail in that situation, remember the universe is, is endless. There's always beautiful opportunities surrounding you if your mind is and your perception stays positive and high vibrational. OK, so let's pull another card here. But I would just, just be praying. I'd be like, Spirit, just show me something. God damn, do you hear me? <laughs> I'm saying, attention, Spirit, do you hear me? <laughs> I'm calling you. I know you hear me calling you. <laughs> Are you ignoring me? Did I do something wrong? I mean, y'all, come on. That's the human nature. You start doubting yourself. and you Look, you know how we do each other, how we do ourselves here. So you may have, here you go with this actual freedom. And but you do have chivalry. See, look at him coming in here to sweep you off your feet. Somebody's coming in here bearing gifts, Scorpios. Someone is coming in here to see. Some of you guys are about to resolve your conflict in a relationship. OK, <laughs> now check it out. Resolving conflict could be your own inner conflict that you need to address in order for something to happen. Because I feel like you have a very, very compatible person that's coming into your life that's very, very compatible with you. You guys may have like the same colors. You may like the same food. You may enjoy the same holidays or, or leisure times or, you know, activities. You guys may be, I feel like, there, I feel like whatever this energy is, it's going to get your attention. Because look, how, how can you resist Don Juan? Look at Don Juan here. He, he's scared. He's like, look at baby. I have the richest of vineyards. I have grapes. I have the finest of wine. Oh, la belle, la belle, la belle, la scorpio, la scorpio -ness. <laughs> That's what they say. Look at, look at baby. Uh, uh, I, I see a good thing. Uh, 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 now, now, now look at baby. Now, 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 now see, now, now see. Now, I, I just want to come show you a good time. Dodo, see, so, so see the little baby? B baby, a uh, baby, a uh, baby is what they saying. <laughs> That's what they're going to be saying to you. Baby, a uh, baby, a uh, baby. <laughs> See there, Scorpios? And this could be the energy. It could very well be saying that this is the type of energy that's going to resolve the conflict of love within you, Scorpios. Sometimes it takes the right person to motivate you. Sometimes it takes the right energy, especially compatible energy, to bring you out of a dark place. For some of you, Scorpios, you're going to be that person for them. See, look at them. But I feel like they're coming in to help you. I feel like for all the times you have given love, someone is coming in here to give it to you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Scorpio, that's what it is. Now, let's see. All right. Compatibility. Number five here. Shout out to my um, tarot question Scorpios and my highly favored members. I appreciate you guys. Once again, I'm going to leave... Um, my email address in the comment section for the tarot questions so that you can get in contact with me and you can get your answers, your questions answered here. So let's see, because this is a lot. Let's let's find the gist of it. It says 
you have drawn this card today, Scorpios, uh, today because your angels and gods would like you to understand the vital truth that a great relationship is all about compatibility. In the past, you may have tried to change or improve something about yourself in order to attract a soulmate, or you may believe that your current partner doesn't understand or appreciate you. The real issue, however, may well be one of compatibility. Wow, see, wow. Wow, Scorpio, see? That's what spirit is saying here. Sometimes it's like the synergy of compatibility is based on being yourself and having the awareness to select a true match for yourself. And this is what compatibility is. I feel like the gist of what spirit is saying is sometimes things don't work out in relationships because they're just not meant to be. Ain't that something? And that's a real eye opener right there. It's like sometimes you can't change people and they definitely cannot change you, Scorpios. Sometimes the, it, it doesn't last because it's just not compatible. It's almost like the unequally yoked energy. Although you may share a, um, a, uh, a common goal or, or, or something that attracts you initially to a person, it may not be enough to sustain the relationship. So now you have chivalry here. See, I feel like spirit is just telling you, but I also feel like spirit is telling you for some of you Scorpios, the relationship that you've been in, that you've really been trying to strong arm it, okay, and, and try to dissect it and see what the problem is, it's like, it's like water and oil. Sometimes it's just not going to mix. Now, you may have found something in that relationship uh, th that drew you in or, or that was good enough to initi initially be with someone, but it's not enough because it's not a firm foundation because the incompatibility is probably going to outweigh the compatibility here. But I feel like for you Scorpios, since you got chivalry and resolving conflict, um, maybe the universe is telling you to, if you're going to be with someone here who you may not have the same, uh, but, but it's, it really should never be with someone here who does not share the same common goals. That's just point blank period. But I feel like, um, if you're confident enough to allow someone to just be themselves, then I feel like it'll turn out better. All right. So you got chivalry. Let's see. Number three, chivalry. Okay, it says to be chivalrous is synonymous with loving integrity and courage here. It says who or what is a chivalrous man and how does he behave? A chivalrous male will face up to the many challenges that life pre uh, presents and protect the people he loves and whatever he truly believes in. On a less heroic, more everyday um, note, he is both a protector and provider and applies himself to these roles at the levels of family, friendship, intimate relationships, and community here. See, moreover, he takes pride in the fact that he can be gallant without losing his sense of self or feeling uh, demean demeaned, uh, appreciating and enjoying the inherent differences between the masculine and feminine helps the chivalrous male to enjoy the way of being and to be uplifted by the company of the luminous woman. See? So see there, Scorpius, check it out. It's almost like if you want this type of energy, you're going to have to be this type of energy. See, because it, it, it's not, it, it's, it's almost like the compatibility it, it, it has to be balanced. It's like we always want to be uh, saved. I want to be saved. Is that? Kiss that? Was that? I want to be saved. We always want somebody in a night shining armor to rescue us. But are we going to rescue them too? Because I feel like sometimes the feminists put themselves way above and sometimes the feminists are not even in the right energy themselves. 
Everybody is not perfect here, but it's almost like experience say you're going to attract what is already in you. If you want someone here to do things for you and to acknowledge you, then you got to do the same thing, Scorpio. And I feel like this in whether an old relationship or a new relationship, it's about compromise. OK, so now you got resolving conflicts here. Let's read this real quick. Just just the uh, gist of it. And it's 26. Okay, it says embrace this opportunity to create a greater understanding and connection with your beloved. See there? It says misunderstandings, disagreements, arguments, and conflicts can be very uh, distressing in a relationship especially when someone you with someone you really love Scorpio whether we like it or not conflict does occur even between people who are extremely compatible for most people uh, if not possible uh, to completely avoid conflict in a relationship so what is the solution here it says conflict actually presents an amazing opportunity when a disagreement or misunderstanding arises, it's offering you, Scorpio, a wonderful chance to understand yourself, your partner, and both your communication styles more clearly. When you become uh, uh, when you become hurt or angry with each other, what you're really saying is, "I don't feel listened to," or "I don't feel like you care about what I think or what I want." The real reason conflict arises, Scorpio, is because someone feels afraid or hurt. Fear of not having uh, our needs met is the hurt we experience when our feelings are seemingly overlooked, are the most common reasons for um, attacking another while defending ourselves. You have drawn this card today, Scorpios, because... Uh, healing your heart, healing your fear of any type of conflict will benefit uh, the quality of your future and existing relationships. Being human means that you will occasionally experience conflict, whether you see yourself as the uh, passive or aggressor uh, one the victim or the perpetrator. It doesn't matter which side you're on. It's a dynamic we all experience on occasion. Next time you find yourself in a disagreement with someone, um, don't run away. Cause you know, now you know, now see, now you know how we run away. We get the heck on, don't we? Ooh, we don't wait till the smoke clear, we bail. And maybe that's the problem here. We always take that fight or flight. <laughs> don't we, Scorpio? <laughs> It's, it reminds me of, um, was that the running bride, the runaway bride was a Julia Roberts where she always ran from the wedding. Every time she'd get right up there to the altar and then she just, she just, <laughs> she just bailed out here. So it's telling you here, uh, don't run away from it, Scorpios. Don't run away. Don't ignore it or become aggressive. Embrace the opportunity to understand them, yourself, and the situation more clearly. The key to unlocking the grip of conflict and suffering um, and shifting the communications to a healing level is asking, what do you really mean by that? <laughs> okay, I'm rambling, but I can't see this anyway because it's dog. I'm just saying but what is this telling you is, Scorpios, a lot of times here, our perception is off. Sometimes our perception is off. And sometimes we try to make everything all about I instead of we because it's two people in a relationship here. And I just feel like Spirit is just saying instead of running from something, sometimes it's time to stand up, stand up for yourself. Uh, stand up to the situation and address it like a mature adult does, Scorpio, and stop getting mad. Stop blocking folks. Stop getting mad because they ain't saying that they ain't doing the right thing when maybe you should just be bold enough to just confront them about it respectfully. And, and so because maybe they don't know. <laughs> You can't take for granted that everybody know how you feel, especially if you're not telling them, because I do feel like somebody is coming in here to do it. It's almost like, but, but you got to be able to let this person do it. 
Somebody's coming in here to show you that chivalry is not dead. It's very much alive here. But I feel like someone is trying to take the uh, take control. And sometimes, Scorpio, as a feminine Scorpio, sometimes you got to sit back and let them take control. Now, check it out. Even as a masculine, sometimes you have to set your pride aside and let your feminine take control, especially if they are doing it in order. Because sometimes you can't follow some. You can't follow no mess now. Spirit ain't telling you to be no fool and follow no mess, but sometimes you, you, you can tell if somebody really is serious because they're going to do the right thing. And sometimes you have to be submissive. Sometimes you do, Scorpio. You can't run from everything, can you? Because you're never going to know if you're always running from it. And I have to tell myself that too. You have to be comfortable enough to know that there's never really a loss. It's not really. It, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just going to elevate you to another level in it. And sometimes you have to disconnect from certain things in order to get something better. That's just life. But I do see you have the opportunity to build something beautiful, a beautiful love relationship. And I see that. So let's see, Spirit. Show me Scorpios. We're going to use the angel tarot today. Expecting another hot day today, Scorpio. So what is this? This is the crap. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> overall energy, Scorpios. It says freedom. Four of wands. See? See? Four of wands. That's that commitment. That's that celebratory energy here. That's that relationship energy. That's that twin flame energy. That's your overall energy. See? It's already begun. See that the four of wands is your overall energy here. All right, spirit. What's going on with Scorpio's love life, spirit? Show me Scorpio's. Four of wands. This could be... Uh, now, this could be that you're going to be very, very busy. You, you may be getting a lot of invites out this summer energy in this joyous June energy. You could be about to be the freaking life of the freaking party here, Scorpios. Maybe you got a lot of festive energy. I feel like there's a harmonious time or this, this is a harmonious time to be in some type of relationship. And it could also be a good time to go out there and live your life and um, go out there and get. Now, this cup, this car keep on want to come out here five of cups but i'm not gonna take it let's see all right spirit somebody may be feeling regret after all you got you got a uh, resolving conflicts here so you have the wheel of fortune here the wheel of fortune here it says was it say think of destiny Will of Fortune. So you have the Four of Wands, the Will of Fortune. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpio? Divine timing, good karma, uh, good luck. So I, like I just said, it's a good time. I feel like it's a good time for unions here. Because you got the Four of Wands and the uh, Will of Fortune here. You could be dealing with a fixed sign at this time, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or a uh, Leo. Mm. See the star. Angel of hope. See the star card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Wow, Scorpios. I feel like your dreams and your wishes are about to come true because you have the will of fortune, Scorpios. Wow. Oh my gosh, you have the Wheel of Fortune with the Four Ones and the freaking Star Card, Scorpios. This is a good time to establish a relationship is what I feel like Spirit is saying. Hold on, Scorpios. Uh-oh. All right. <laughs> All right, because I'm sitting here struggling trying to see... <laughs> I usually don't turn the lights on during the day, but I need this light right now. So bear with me. So like I said, this is a good time to fall in love, Scorpios. Are you ready? Are you ready to fall in love? Are you ready to be in something serious? 
See that? It's a good time for love, Scorpio. It's a good time. The Spirit said, ooh, the Hierophant Angel of Blessing. See? Told you this was a good time. Taurus Energy Angel of Blessings here. The Fool Angel of Innocence. See there? You could be dealing with the Aries here. I see the Three of Wands preparation. Someone is preparing something here. I see eight of cups. Somebody may be preparing to leave something. Ooh, Scorpio. Now, this is on the side note here, but I got to see it because it's right here. If this is a side note, this may not be for everybody, this little part right here. Someone is preparing to leave another situation. Okay, look, don't come for me. See? Three of wands. Eight of cups. Eight of cups says departure. Then you have the four cups because of some type of indifference that they were having. They're not happy in that relationship here. See? What's it? The queen of swords. You got independence here. Maybe it was an air sign here. But let's see. Let's digress here. So you have the Hierophant. You have Taurus. You have the Fool, which is Aries. You have the star card, which is Aquarius. You have the four ones, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpios? Mm. Ha, the lovers. <laughs> it never fails. Angel of commitment. See? Look at that. See there, angel of commitment here, the lovers, Gemini energy. You got Aquarius and you have Gemini. Ooh, look at you, Scorpios. Ooh, but check it out, though. But you also have angel of, it says angel of freedom, the devil. Mm. Somebody's breaking free from something, Scorpio. Is it you or is it them? Maybe someone is breaking from inner conflict. They go to three of wands and they're five or four of cups again. Somebody's doing something. Let's see. All right, Spirit, what's going on in Scorpio's love life? The high priestess, angel of power. You got the angel of blessing and the angel of power. You got, <laughs> God dang. This is something major going on in here with yourself, Scorpio. Don't you see? Don't you see? So far, Scorpio, the only everything in here are major arcanas, but they're four of wands. God dang. You have Pisces, Capricorn, Gemini, Aries, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. Then you got Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. See, you got all you got. Page of Cups, Friendship is underneath the bottom. And then you have the Eight of Wands, Journey. See, someone is on a journey of love here, Scorpios. All right, Spirit, one more card. I'm talking about out of eight, so far I got three, six, out of eight cards, seven of these cards are major arcana, Scorpios. That's something going on. Something's about to happen. Look, they go to King of Swords. <laughs> the King of Swords here. Decision, see? Somebody making up their mind about something here. Four, see, underneath the bottom, you got Seven of Swords. It says theft. Mm. They go to Empress, they go to Knight of Cups, and they go Strength card here. See, I feel like for some of you guys, Scorpio, you done stole somebody's heart. See there? The Empress and the Seven of Swords, you done stole somebody's heart because they go to Knight of Cups right there. Some of y'all done stole somebody's heart and you don't even know it and you probably wasn't even trying and you don't don't you're not even aware of this. Could be a Libra with that half. I mean, with that Empress here. Ooh, Scorpio, this is something here. Let's see. All right. Now, let's see what's going on here. This is. 
So the only the only minors in here, the minor arcanas are the four wands and this king of swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Taurus, Vir I mean, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. It says decisions and it says freedom here. Someone is making a decision to be free. And then all the rest of the cards is once again, you have the will of fortune, which it says angel of destiny. Then you have the star card, angel of hope, Aquarius. You have the Hierophant. It says angel of blessings. The Hierophant says angel of blessings, Taurus energy. Then you have the full card, angel of innocence, Aries energy. Then you have the lover's card, Gemini energy, angels of commitment. Then you have the devil. It says angel of freedom, Capricorn energy. Then you have the high priestess, angel of power. Then you have, the, like I said, a king of swords is, in, what is it, indecision? No, it says decisions. All right. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, I told you that that something is beautiful is happening in your life. I'm talking about spirit mean for this to happen for somebody. With this will of fortune, spirit say it is the right time, baby. Your time is finally here. Your number then came up, Scorpio. Wow, Scorpio, it is officially time for Scorpios to have this beautiful commitment. It's like the stars are lining up. For some of y'all, it took somebody coming up. Somebody's making up their mind here about another situation and they're choosing you once again. Look, I can't help this. What's coming up? That's what's coming up. Because you had the four ones, the will of fortune, the star card. Spirit say now is a very, very, um, a very good time. Uh, Cause with the star card, it brings in healing. That's also part of resolving conflict with the star energy, the angel of hope. And I feel like hope is some of you guys, this, the star card is what's going to make it all come in because it's right next to the freaking will of fortune here. It's almost like it's lined. The stars are lining up. The stars are lining up to get you what you deserve and what you always desire. Scorpio. So let's see. Once again, this here is a general. It's not going to resonate for every single Scorpio out here. So only take the part that fits. Blah, 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 blah. You know how this goes, Scorpio. So let's see. All right, let's start off with this four ones. It could be dealing with the Pisces. Anytime here lately, I see that high priestess. I keep seeing that uh, magician card too. So some of y'all, you got heavy Pisces in here or you are really, really manifesting here. And I feel like now is a good time for your manifestations to come true because you got the you got the star card. OK, so let's see. Spirit, what's up with this four ones? It says freedom. Four ones for Scorpio spirit. Clarify the four ones. Why is the four ones here? Clarify the four ones. Four of Wands is the Two of Wands, decisions, choices, planning, partnering. See, because you got this person down here needing to make up their mind here. And you see how spirit is talking to them. Spirit like, now, now you already know. Now, I know you already know that that empress you can have. Now, I, I picked the best. It's like spirit is telling somebody, look, I say the best for last for you. <laughs> somebody got favor with spirit. But this is what they're deciding on. Now, they could be deciding between you and someone else. Seems like that's the theme. Everybody got options and everybody got to make up their mind here. All right, spirit, the four ones. Mm. Page of Cups here. I feel like this is someone here who is with this Two of Wands, with this Four of Wands, Two of Wands, and Page of Cups. This is someone here who is, I feel like, who they are figuring out who do they have feelings for. Okay. 
I feel like someone is realizing that their feelings are growing for someone. And I feel like it's you. Cancel Scorpio and Pisces here. Mm. I hope that's what it's about. You got the Queen of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Now, someone could really be looking at you because you got the four of wands. Someone could be looking at you saying that you are marriage material, Scorpios, and that they would love a future with you. <laughs> you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, but then the Queen of Pentacles came out. Now, for up, look. For some of y'all, this is someone here who needs to decide between you and a Queen of Pentacles because underneath the bottom, you have the Eight of Swords, Three of Cups in the reverse, and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So, mm. <laughs> I mean, you got the Lover's card here. You got the Two of Wands. There is clearly, you got the King of Swords that says decisions here. Yep. See? It's just about decisions here. But I feel like this is good because they're choosing who they want. And it's better like that. It, it, it's it's kind of like it's really not fair because it's almost like it's giving them all of the power and control. Maybe this has been in a relationship where you felt like you guys were not compatible because maybe they wasn't putting in. OK. And maybe it's because maybe they had a choice to make. Somebody has a choice to make, Scorpios. That's, that's just what it is, okay? Someone has a choice to make. I feel like it's, it's leading towards you, okay? So let's see what's up with this Wheel of Fortune. But what's up with this Wheel of Fortune here? It says the Angel of Destiny. Something is destined, though. It is fated. It's supposed to happen. It's already written. You already have this contract with this person to do this. Now, free will always plays a role now. Um, but check it out. Just because destiny is here, you know, people still have their free will. So let's see. Because it could be that someone has been fighting this. But because it is fate and destiny, now things are about to turn around because since it's already destined, it's, you're going to do it. <laughs> you can fight, you can hide, you can do whatever, but what it's supposed to be is going to be, okay? All right, Spirit, the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. Eight of Swords. See, something is changing. Something is changing about someone's mentality where they were stuck. Could be a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Mm. Y'all, these cars, these cars, these cars, the king of pentacles. Let me, let me tell you what, 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 what it is. What is changing where they were once stuck, this king of pentacles? That this was about to change, an ending. See, nine of freaking, ooh, <laughs> god dang, see? See there, somebody's putting it. This is what it is. Somebody here who once had a problem. Maybe, maybe they were doing the same old thing. And, and me, check it out, Scorpios. The compatibility may have been not. You could have been more compatible with someone, but they could have been in a relationship where there was no compatibility. Yeah, you know, I'm saying people marry people every day for the wrong reasons. OK. With this Queen of Pentacles here, I feel like they're not compatible because you got the Page of Cups. I feel like this is how they feel about this Queen of Pentacles. Check it out. This is what I feel like it is. They're in some type of relationship that, that uh, uh, gave them freedom. I feel like financial freedom because you got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. But this person now is starting to change how they felt about this queen of pentacles here. And, and this is how they feel about this queen of pentacles here. The page of cups. You see this? This is, this is not a lot. Now, this is something innocent. This is a childish-like energy. It's not fully matured. 
So someone was in a relationship here where it, it gave them financial freedom, but there was not a, a lot of emotional investments here because that's just a page. So now someone here is looking at this freedom or this commitment in a different way because I feel like someone is thinking about choosing a different direction, honey. And you already know which way they're going. So now you have the will of fortune. This is why uh, they're choosing. Someone is choosing a different freaking direction because it's time. Someone was in a relationship where it gave them a lot of financial freedom here, but someone's love never did really fully develop here. I feel like it's what I get. I'm challenging. You can't tell me what I see. I'm just saying. Will of fortune. Eight of swords, but now it's changing. Things are turning around. Things are changing for this person, this commitment, whatever they got going on. Because here's somebody here who once probably felt stuck. Somebody felt stuck in a situation because it gave them a lot of financial freedom, but not much emotional. So I feel like and then could represent that this queen of pentacles only gave this much. This person probably was not giving as much with this page of cups here. Could have been somebody here who really wasn't getting that much love or maybe they didn't feel as much love, but, but they stayed, they got stuck because it gave a lot of financial freedom. But this King of Pentacles is talking about ending this. See, could be another Scorpio to become single. See, they're leaving that Scorpio. I don't care how many different decks I get. It's just the same thing. I don't feel like this is you. I know I don't. Now, for some of you Scorpios, maybe you were in a marriage and maybe your person is wanting to leave your connection and be single, but you're not the queen. of. I don't feel like this is you. I don't. It could be. But that's that uh, death card is because of you. You're making someone here want to end this and become single from it. Not single in general, but single from whatever they were attached to. So now you got the star card, Aquarius energy. The star card. Mm. See there, somebody used to. See, it's, ooh, Scorpios. I feel like someone here has always been wishing for you or to be with you. Because look, there go that the will of fortune. Now there go the world card here. That's the world card. There goes some more fixed energy. Could be a fixed sign because you got Aquarius. Now you got Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo energy here. I feel like somebody here it was hoping. For some of you Scorpios, if this person broke your heart because they were with somebody else, this is somebody here hoping for another chance with you because all they do is watch you once again. They keep tabs on you. And they're still holding out hope here. So I feel like this world card represents that somebody is hoping that things have changed, that, that, that they get another opportunity with you. Because once again, this person's world has come cr crashing down because of you, Scorpios. Mm. So now you have the Hierophant. It says blessings, Taurus energy. Now, this is some type of commitment here, I feel like. Could be a marriage because you got the king and the queen of pentacles. Spirit, how, why is this hierophant here for Scorpio? What does this have to do with Scorpio? Let's clarify the hierophant. The hierophant. Ace of swords. Truth, clarity, truth, breakthrough, clear mind, victory. I feel like somebody is cutting out something here or maybe somebody wants something here with you, Scorpio. Or maybe someone is finally standing in the truth about their relationship. Someone is finally it. Um, someone is finally uh, seeing things for what they really are about a commitment here. They're not stuck because you see at first. Destiny happened, fate. But at first, this person was stuck, or somebody felt stuck, but they really wasn't stuck because now they even gained some freedom here. So let's see. All right, Spirit, what's up with this Hierophant for Scorpios? Why is this Hierophant here? Mm. Seven of Wands here. 
Now, I could represent this as someone here who is willing to fight for a connection here, Scorpios. They go this sun card, Leo energy. Somebody wants to fight for their independence here. I feel like someone wants to fight. Let's see. Spirit, what's up this higher fin? Wait a minute. One, two. Okay, seven of wands. All right. <laughs> the wheel of freaking fortune, see? See that the wheel of fortune came out? Somebody feel like they know, see? And they go to freaking judgment card. Mm. And the freaking eight of, look, 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 look. <laughs> judgment, eight of cups. Four of Wands. They go there. Four of Wands again. Somebody is making up their mind to walk away from this Four of Wands. You remember you got the Four of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. See? Tell you somebody making up their mind to walk away from this. See? Because you got the Death card right here. Dang. This is, look. This is coming out as clear as if. Okay? This is coming out as clear as day. You got the will of fortune again. This is someone here who is saying, I know, I, I know my destiny. I feel like, I feel like this isn't all what my life consists of is being in this, whatever this is, because someone has not been happy in it for a while with this eight of swords. They feel stuck and constricted. And if it's the king of swords, this person always overthought things here. But this king of same king of swords is about to make up their mind. I feel like they making up their mind. Now, this is someone here who I feel like you're not with because maybe this person had another situation here. Maybe they broke your heart. Maybe you found out about something here. And maybe you're healing. Maybe you're healing because you had to close out a cycle because you found out that somebody has somebody else. So that's the conflict you have with this person. But it's almost like this person has, this, this person is the conflict though. But this is why I feel like they want to resolve it, but they got to resolve what's going on in their own life first. But with this will of fortune and the seven of wands, it's almost like somebody saying, uh-uh, bull crap, I already know what I know and, and you can't tell me how I feel. It's almost like somebody here feels like I, I, I know the truth. Somebody's about to have a breakthrough because I feel like somebody is fighting. Somebody's fighting their way out of this connection here and fighting to be free, to love who they want to love and to go in a different direction if that's what they choose. Because someone is saying that they feel like, I feel like their destiny is to go somewhere else. Okay. And I, I feel like it's you. You got that will of fortune, see, that will of fortune. You got a lot, like I said, Scorpio, <laughs> out of your nine cards, you got seven major arcanas here. And the minors is the four of wands and the king of swords. Everything else is major. So this is something that's going to happen, okay? For some of you guys, it is happening now. For some of you guys, it has already happened. But this is definitely going to happen for somebody. It's going to happen. You got the freaking Wheel of Fortune card twice. You got the Eight of Cups we've seen. You get the Death card and you get the freaking Judgment. Somebody is walking away from this. See? There it is, the Tower. See? They're walking away from this Four of Wands. Let me see, show you the Four of Wands again. Four of Wands, Two of Wands, decisions here, planning here. This is what this person is doing about what's going on in this relationship. This is what they're looking at their relationship. And I feel like this person, either this person is saying that there's not much love that has grown between the two of them, or maybe they wasn't getting as much love. This is what I feel like. This is why now this person is starting to plan uh, about their person that they're with, because it's about decisions and choices because you got the lover's card. And someone in this Ace of Swords is saying that I'm not happy here. This is not what I'm where I'm supposed to be. OK, that's what I feel. Don't come for me. I'm just saying. So now you had a full card here. It says Angel of Innocence. I feel like somebody has a person here who is really in love with you. OK. 
and I don't, I don't see all of that, but with this fool card, it's almost like somebody here with the Wheel of Fortune showing up twice. They're ready. It's like someone has a brand new perspective on life. It's like they've been re-energized because you got the Wheel of Fortune twice. And with that Empress card showing up, I feel like, I feel like this person had an unhealthy attachment in another situation here. Let's see. Let's start off with this. Uh, let's finish with this fool card here. Spirit, why is the fool here for Scorpios? Mm. Five, six, seven. So this person may feel like they were being foolish. For some of y'all, you dealing with a uh, Libra. And there go that Capricorn energy, the devil card, with the seven of cups and the five of cups. I feel like someone is saying to themselves here that maybe they put in, there go that star card, see? See, this is someone here who is saying that they feel kind of foolish here because they're, in, they're confused, but there's a lot of regret. There's a lot of regret from this person, but I also feel like this person needs to heal too, Scorpio. So let's see, you got the full card. See, you said it got these majors wanting to come out. It's something, something is going to happen. All right, spirit, the fool. The moon card, Pisces energy. I feel like this is what somebody is saying here. This is someone here who is finally, uh, see, this is someone here who is finally able or about to uh, face their biggest obstacle because like I said now somebody feels we got Pisces Pisces and somebody feel like they can do it now Scorpio and this is what I feel like they're trying to come establish the ten of cups see somebody here was in a relationship this four wands energy now I'm getting, since you have the king and the pentacles, they don't even have had to have been married, but I feel like they were in a relationship. But your person here is looking to establish something long term. I feel like with this ten of cups and this person is saying that they're willing to do whatever they have to do to get it because you do have the seven of wands here including face their fear, because I feel like this is somebody here who they could have been in another relationship, but didn't give them the Ten of Cups. They just stayed as the Four of Wands because it gave them a lot of financial freedom. Here's what I see. But now you got the Lover's card here. You got Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now you got Gemini energy again. And this is choices and decisions. It says commitment here. Choices in your commitments, choices in your relationships is what it's representing. Spirit, what's up with this Lover's card for Scorpios? Why is the lovers here? The lovers is the strength. Could be dealing with the Leo here. I feel like this is someone here who. Is that the four of cups? This is someone here who was afraid of commitment, Scorpios. Okay. This is someone here who was afraid. And like I say, I'm not saying just commitment to my real commitment, marriage. Yeah, they'll shack up. Yeah, they'll have a relationship. But when it comes to a real marriage or settling down, this is what they were afraid of. All right, spirit, the lovers. See, but I feel like somebody is trying to stand in their power. And I feel like someone is doing an about face here. This is someone. See, somebody, <laughs> somebody coming in here to offer you something but they're going to have to leave somebody else out in the cold too, Scorpio, because you got the lover's card. This is decision. It's almost like someone is trying to have the courage to do what they want to do. And somebody going to get hurt. But I feel like somebody has been, has grown some type of codependency on another relationship because even though there was a lot lacking in it, they became codependent on it. That's why you got the devil card and the eight of, eight of swords. They became stuck in it. It wasn't emotionally fulfilling, but they became stuck because it was financially fulfilling. But someone here, now that they've met you, they want more. What I feel like here. All right, spirit, the lovers. Six of 
see the Ten of Wands. This is a burden on this person here. Because I feel like this is somebody here who's finally trying to stand in the courage to really do what they've always desired to do. And now that you got the Wheel of Fortune here, this person has a spiritual urgency to do something now. And I feel like you've already ended things with this person. Now this person is about to end things with somebody else. And it's kind of scary to them, but at the same time, the desire to have it is more compelling. So now you have the devil. This says freedom too. Angel of freedom here, Capricorn energy. Got a lot of devil energy showing up in here. Spirit, what's up with this devil energy for Scorpio's wise this here? The devil, see, six of swords, because somebody felt like a situation was just too much. This is why they're planning and observing it in this two of wands energy here. Because they got clarity of mind with this ace of swords. Somebody's realizing that they got to move away from either negative thoughts or negative codependency relationships here. Because if they don't leave it, this is someone here who is just going to feel stuck and confined. Somebody wants freedom. And I feel like you gave somebody freedom, Scorpios. To the point where destiny is playing a role here. I feel like this person is supposed to be in your life, Scorpios. I feel like you are helping, liberating somebody here. Maybe indirectly here. Maybe you don't even know it. See how you affecting this person's judgment now? Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's about to be single from this. So you got the devil card and the six of swords. All right, Spirit. Clarify the devil for Scorpios. I feel like this person was in denial, Scorpios. They, it's almost like, you know how you get in a relationship and it works. So you, it's like the part of it where I feel like money saved their relationship. Okay. I feel like money kept it together. But for somebody here, now that they've met you, money was not enough to keep it together. It sustained them for a while. I feel like until they met you, now someone has changed. Someone was refusing to see, but they see now because you got the Ace of Swords here. See, someone was refusing to see that either they had fallen out of love with them or that they are in love with somebody else. Got the King of Cups. All right, Spirit, the devil. Why is this here? See? King of Cups, here they done fell in love with you, and here they go with that Fool card again, see? Because you got the Fool card, the Moon card, the Magician card, and the Ten of Cups. This is somebody here who, they said, F, yeah, it may be some things that I don't know, but I ain't worried about that. I, I can make it happen here. See? Because this is a risk for them, because this, this is somebody here especially is, is the King of Pentacles energy or even the King of Swords energy. This is someone here who pretty much knows what's going on in their life, but for whatever this is that they're trying to accomplish with you, it's different because I feel like they already know how you get down because I've seen the Empress. It's almost like somebody's about to settle down here and they're about to take this leap of faith doing something that they've never done. They have not even did this with this Queen of Pentacles for somebody. And yeah, I know it's the king and queen of pentacles, but you got the four of wands. They're coming with you. Look, the ten of cups. Some of y'all may be manifesting this person, but I feel like they're manifesting you. Because they want this. So now you have the devil card, six of swords, king of cups, and the fool card. Someone is moving away from this codependent relationship that they felt stuck in. So now you have the high priestess. It says power. Now you could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be dealing with a highly spiritual person here who is connected spiritually. So this is why they're able to finally free themselves. Let's see. And maybe they're moving in silence once again, but it says power. All right, Spirit, what's up with this high priestess? And this could be you not talking to this person. The sun card here. 
I feel like you are someone's best kept secret here, Scorpio. You're the one that motivates someone here. You're the one that makes them want to come after you. You got the Knight of Rods, the Knight of Swords, and the Justice card. Could be a Libra here. Could be a Leo. See there, you got the High Priestess, the freaking Sun card. Spirit, what's up with the High Priestess? This person is not letting everybody know. See, there you go, baby. There you go. See, this, one, this person ain't letting everybody know who they got a thing for, baby. See, there's like this person's keeping this. This person's keeping all this happiness to themselves here. That they didn't fell in love with this high pre I mean, with this empress here. May have a, Le a Libra, Leo, or Pisces here. See, you steady got these. I told you that empress wanted to come out. They ain't telling nobody. They say, I ain't telling no goddamn about it. This belonged to me. This is my secret here. Because why? Because they already know what they want. Ace of Wands, check it out. With the freaking Ten of Pentacles, Scorpios, check it out. Because some of y'all, this is your soulmate here. See? Dang. See? Ooh. They ain't telling y'all, but I ain't going to take that Ace of Wands. I ain't going to put the Ten of Pentacles back. See? This is what they ain't telling that you're somebody's best kept secret and how they are madly in love with you. You know that they in love. You got the sun card, the high priest. They, they already are illuminated. They are. This person is spiritually led to you now. And why is it? Because you got the will of fortune twice. You got the will of fortune card here twice. They're led to you. Like I say, for some of y'all, this is a destined, fated connection that's supposed to be, but you got to overcome these obstacles and these challenges here. See there, you see how, they got these mages, you see they got that Ace of Wands, you, can, you can't escape that Ace of Wands. So what's up with this King of Swords, your last card, Decisions here. Now this is the one, this is the person you're with. This is the only masculine energy in here with this Empress here. Spirit, what's up with this uh, uh, King of Swords for Scorpio? Why is this King of Swords here? Oh, you got the King of Swords. I mean, the King of Pentacles, too. Mm. <laughs> I can't. I can't with y'all, Scorpio. I said, what's up with this King of Swords? Why are you here for Scorpio? Spirit say, because it's fate, it's destiny. They're supposed to be here. See that? There go that emperor. God dang it. I told you. See? See, and they finna come in here and put their bid in, god dang it. Knight of Cups, that Knight of Cups keeps showing up, Scorpio. See, this is King of Swords making up their mind that they want the one who they have the most compatibility with. And this who they got the most compatibility with, see? See, King of Swords, you, you may have thought that you didn't because they uh, was not showing it. But the whole time, this has been your person here. And they know it now because it says decisions. Huh? And I feel like you may have walked away from this person, but they ain't let go. I don't think they've been doing is planning and waiting. <laughs> One more card for this uh, King of Swords. This person want, want to give it, give you the, see, I was just going to say, say this person want to give you the MF word, baby. <laughs> Scorpio, Scorpio, this is magnificent. See, I already knew it. This person said, look here, I done had my time over there. We tried it, but I, I want some more. Something is pulling at me. It's destiny that's pulling at this person to, to make a decision about who they're most compatible with. See, they finna come in here and sweep you off your feet and show you the good life because they say you deserve being spoiled. See, and this person ain't telling nobody because they feel like you're the best thing since sliced bread, god dang it. And the high priestess, and not only that, they are spiritually led to you because you got the will of fortune twice. This is someone here whose spirit is, that's why you got the sun card here. Spirit is always showing this person who they, that's why you got the ace of pentacles there too, score, and the three of ten of cups, see? That's who they coming for. Look at this. Isn't that Empress abundant attached with the freaking sun? And then you got that emperor coming in with the Ten of Pentacles. This, you guys are the power couple. So check it out. Some of you guys, your person is in a relationship with somebody else. Your person here with the soul contract, the, your most intimate person, your true love was with another person. But because of destiny, because of fate and karma, 
things are turning around and this person is making up their mind to pursue the one who they really want, Scorpio. And like I say, this person in love with you, this person's coming out their comfort zone to go after love, Scorpios. <laughs> they coming. So this is this, Scorpio. You got your person here that's coming after you to give you what you deserve and what you desire in a relationship here. See? The emperor, the empress, the ten of pentacles, and the freaking ten of cups here. See? Not to mention all your other major arcanas in here because you got them. This is why you have the will of fortune twice. Because this connection is already blessed and abundant. This is a blessed, abundant connection, Scorpio. This right here is going to be your happily ever after, Scorpio. This is it right here. That's it. So this is your reading, Scorpio. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.